Maybe there's hope for the next generation yet. What leads me to believe this? Well, stories about kids like Josh Alexander. Who is Josh Alexander? Well, he's a 16-year-old student that was arrested for attending St. Joseph's Catholic High School in Renfrew, Ontario on February 6, after the principal had previously banned him from school grounds. So what exactly did Josh do or say that got him originally banned from school? It must have been something disturbing and sinister. After all, it's not like the school would ban him for a trivial reason. You're right, it was something very disturbing. He had the balls to not only say that God created only two genders, but he wouldn't take it back. Now, even though Josh isn't a lawyer, he seems to have a better grasp of the law than most elected officials. They excluded me for no reason other than religious discrimination, Josh told the Epoch Times on February 7th. I would argue that I was supposed to be there. Thankfully, Josh was released shortly after his arrest and charged with trespassing, a charge that he and his lawyer will contest against vigorously. He's not a belligerent kid. And this isn't about getting his 15 minutes of fame, his lawyer James Kitchen told the Times. This is about principle. It's about beliefs. Josh was not going to tacitly condone the religious segregation. Kitchen said there has to be a balancing act of the rights of transgender students with those of uh, students like Josh who hold Catholic beliefs about the immutability of gender or the rights of girls who want female-only washrooms. Don't hold your breath, James. You're dealing with folks who can't even balancing a checking account. Josh got into hot water with the school last year when he organized a protest standing up for female students who were uncomfortable with boys' pee-pees in the girls' washrooms. My question is, where were the dads of these girls? Why was Josh, a boy, doing a man's job, the parents' job, the dad's job. One girl at the school told the Epoch Times she was caught off guard by a transgender student who followed her into the girl's washroom because I didn't even really know at that point that he self-identified as female. It was for my own privacy and safety that I felt like I had to say something, she said. Say something? Once again, where was her father? He was the one who's supposed to say something or at a minimum her mother. Josh, exercising his right of free speech, also engaged in classroom discussions about gender and called transgender students by their dead name. For those of you who don't know it, to the woke activists, that's a cardinal sin, calling someone by their real name, which they construe or say is their dead name. For this, he was suspended in November and then excluded in January, which is similar to being suspended but considered non-disciplinary. The exclusion notice sent to Kitchen by the school's lawyer said the principal is authorized by the Education Act to exclude a student if his or her presence is detrimental to the safety or well-being of a person on the premises. The notice lists things Josh had refused to do that had led to his expulsion, such as refusing to use pronouns or names that are inconsistent with students' biological sex, He also refused to refrain from freely professing that people cannot change gender and that boys must not be permitted to enter girls' private spaces as a matter of morality, modesty, and safety. How dare he? Doesn't he realize that someone's delusion may be actually shattered by his beliefs? The school board superintendent of education services has supported the principal in determining that Josh should be excluded. The notice said, the school's principal, Derek Lennox, and the Renfrew County Catholic District School Board told the Epoch Times they cannot comment on particular students. Of course not. After all, they wouldn't want to offend the Alphabet Mafia by taking a stand. Mark Searson, the board's director of education, told the Times in December that in general, The schools have gender-neutral washrooms available for transgender students. However, the Ontario Human Rights Code has made it very explicit that individuals do have rights to utilize the restricted washroom of their lived gender identity, he said. Kitchen contested this understanding of the code. If gender was the only right the Human Rights Code protected, yes, 
transgender students would be allowed in girls' washrooms. But the Human Rights Code supposedly protects other grounds as well, he said, adding that religion is one of them. The code requires balancing of rights, said Kitchen, who works with the Christian Conservative Liberty Coalition Canada. Aside from Josh's right to express his religious beliefs, Kitchen said some Christian girls and others also have beliefs about sexual modesty. It's not right that you're in there and that you could be potentially viewed by a boy. Sexual modesty? Sorry, James. These activists and their sympathizers know as much about sexual modesty as quantum physics. Kitchen said Josh is going to the school despite the exclusion had a purpose. It was to show he didn't recognize the unlawful exclusion based on religious discrimination. A lot of other kids who may feel the same way don't necessarily speak up, Kitchen said. Josh is courageous and principled enough, and he's got a high enough risk tolerance to see it all the way through. Amen, brother. Josh said some girls who want a washroom without female body students have been reluctant to speak about it. Last time I checked, Josh, it was their parents' job, wasn't it, to do this? James and his lawyer will challenge the trespassing charge and will file a human rights complaint based on religious discrimination. I would encourage all of you to send a message to St. Joseph's High School and let them know that instead of persecuting James for a stand, they should be celebrating it. He's a fine young man. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account. If you're on my Rumble's account, please subscribe to the channel because occasionally YouTube is, uh, you know, canceling, doing all kinds of crazy things, and you can't see my videos. See you next time.